how can you constantly hone your AI audio skills and become a better AI audio or AI music engineer? My personal secret for that is reading one research paper a week. In this video, I want to explain why this is important and share also my personal strategy for doing that. Because it seems like reading one research paper a week is a lot of work, and indeed it is. And so you need a strategy to be as efficient as possible for doing that. But let's get started. Why should you read a research paper a week? Now, papers have the cutting edge research. And this is something that you want to be very aware of in order to be updated about all the new ideas and everything. So if you read one paper a week, you'll always be on top of the research and you'll know what's going on in the space. Another reason for reading one paper a week is that uh, as an AI audio engineer, you'll be asked to implement a paper. So you'll be asked by your uh, employer uh, probably to read a lot of papers and then to actually implement some of those abstract ideas. And if you don't have any experience reading papers or you don't usually read papers, that can feel like a daunting task because papers have their own lingo and they're quite difficult to crack if you're not used to do it every day. Then a third reason why you should read uh, papers is because uh, Papers are a continuous source of ideas for your own applications. So if you have an idea about an application, you just don't want to reinvent the wheel like every day, right? Rather, you want to just pick up on other people's ideas and then use that as a source of inspiration for developing your own ideas even further. So reading one paper a week is a lot of work and you want to be organized in that. So let me share my personal strategy for reading one paper a week so that hopefully that will be helpful for you. The way I approach this is kind of like reading a paper in five days. Now, obviously these are not full-time uh, reading days, but rather I allocate 30 minutes, half an hour every day to this task. So the first day I usually uh, kind of like choose the paper, pick up the paper uh, that I want to read. Then the next three days, I just read through the paper. And on the final fifth day, I just check out uh, the code and summarize all the ideas in the paper. So let me explain all of these steps one by one. So how do I choose a paper? Well, usually what I do, I browse the main conferences in AI audio and AI music. So if I'm interested in music information retrieval, usually I check out the conference proceedings at the Izmir conference. If I'm more interested into uh, generative music, I check out the conference proceedings of the compu computer simulation of musical creativity. Uh, conference. And then I also can check out ICASP if I'm more interested into, I don't know, like digital uh, um, audio digital signal processing, for example, or even ICML, so more general conferences on machine learning. Now, one thing uh, that I think like it's very important is to pick up a uh, paper that has a topic you're passionate about. Why is that the case? Well, reading papers is a lot of effort, a lot of work. And if you're not really that interested into the topic you're reading, well, you're not going to do it. OK, then another suggestion that I have for you is to pick up papers that also have code implementations. Now, how can you know beforehand which papers have um, implementation of their ideas? Well, there's a great service, great website uh, that's called Papers with Code. You can go there and check out any machine learning paper and see if it comes out with the, with the code. And there you'll be able to check out both the uh, PDF, so the paper itself, and the, uh, the code, which is like really, really neat. Cool. So now you have a paper. So how do you go uh, reading? For, uh, how, do you, how do you manage reading it? Well, uh, usually I do this like on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. I usually allocate 30 minutes a day. And on Tuesday, what I do is I read, I just like get an idea of the paper, a sense of it. I read through the abstract, the 
um, introduction and the conclusion came throughout the paper so that I have a gist of the paper. Then on Wednesday, I would focus more on the uh, body of the paper, but mainly on the methods and the algorithms that, and that the researchers have developed. And then on Thursday, I would actually focus more on the results and the experiments and on the discussion if there is one, so that I get an idea of how well like those algorithms that have been developed in the uh, paper like are performing. Good. Then the next and final step uh, happens on Friday for me, and it's basically uh, it's just like checking out the code of the paper so that I can get like a, an idea of how like those abstract ideas have been implemented. Now, this is uh, very important for a couple of reasons. First of all, it will give you like a direct connection between the ideas and the way a researchers implement those ideas. But at the same time, this is very helpful because it, it will expose you to a bunch of different uh, paradigms and frameworks in deep learning. So some researchers use PyTorch for implementing their uh, their ideas, others TensorFlow or Keras, right? And so you'll be exposed to all of these frameworks, which is great, and it will just increase your confidence and skills in deep learning more in general, which is great. Okay. So this is it uh, really like for like my personal strategy. So I hope I've convinced you that reading one uh, paper a week is a very important thing for you. And that's because you will stay on top of the uh, research. You'll have uh, an understanding of how to actually implement research papers into uh, production code into actual code and then it's also important because you can just pick up ideas and use them and build on top uh, for your own projects now I hope like you found also like my strategy useful just like to give you a short summary of that uh, allocated like five days for reading up a paper the first day you just choose the paper the next three days you read through the paper and on the final day you check out the code okay I'm sure you'll have your own strategy for reading up papers. I would be really curious to, to see what that is. And so feel free to just like to comment in the section below so that, uh, yeah, we can just start a discussion about that because this is like a really cool topic. Okay, so I hope this video was useful for you. If that was the case, please remember to leave a like if you haven't subscribed to my channel and want to get like more videos like this or tutorials in AI, audio and AI music, please consider subscribing. And I guess I'll see you next time. Cheers.